Sean Great is a convicted serial killer from Ohio who is currently on death row. He was arrested in Ashland, Ohio in September 2016 when a woman called 911 from inside the house where she was being held captive. She whispered to the dispatcher, I've been abducted, while Great was asleep in the same room. This call ultimately led to Great's arrest and the discovery of the bodies of two other women in the same house. During his trial, Great confessed to killing five women between 2006 and 2016. In 2018, he was convicted on numerous charges, including aggravated murder and kidnapping, and was sentenced to death. The case drew widespread media attention, in large part because of the chilling call that led to his capture. The I've been abducted call is one of the most memorable 911 calls, as it shows the extreme bravery of the woman on the phone who managed to contact emergency services, despite her terrifying circumstances. The responding police officers and dispatchers are also credited for their quick actions that led to the woman's rescue and great's arrest. 911, what is the address to your emergency? I just lost street laundry mat. Or street laundry mat. What's the problem? I've been abducted. Who abducted you? Sean Green. You said John Green? Sean Great. Where's he at now? Asleep. Where's he sleeping at? In the bedroom. In what bedroom? There's two houses right by the laundry street. And it's in one of those houses. But you're at the laundry mat? No, I'm I'm in the bedroom with them. What color is the house? If I'm looking at the laundry mat, which way is it? If you're looking in the laundry mat, it's on the left of the two. You don't know what color the house is? No. Please hurry. Does he have a car? No. Well, he's down the street. What's your phone number you're calling me from? I don't know. And you think it's a yellow house? I think so, but it's on the left. Is it an apartment? No, it's a house. Okay, does he own the house? No, he broke into it. Does anybody actually live there? I think they've been abandoned. And his name is Sean Great? Yes. Like G-R-A-T-E? Yes. Does he have a weapon? What does he look like? Is he a white male or a black male? He's white. Is he like six foot or is he shorter than that? He's like six one, six two. Do you know how much he weighs? Probably one seventy five. Are you injured? A little. What color is his hair? Brown. Do you know what color his eyes are? What's he wearing? Right now. Okay, stay on the phone with me. Stay on the line with me, okay? Is he still sleeping? Yes. Where did he take you from? My apartment. I mean, I was walking with him. You were walking with him? Mm -hmm. Or were you walking too? Yes, but... Is there any way you can get out of the building? Waking him and I'm scared. Is there a bathroom in the, the house? Well, his bedroom is closed and he made it so it would make noise. But if you told me you had to go to the bathroom, he would do something to you? Yeah, because he had me tied up. Are you tied up now? Well, I. Uh, yeah, but I kind of freed myself. Is he in the same room with you? Yes. Is it his phone you have? Yes. Yeah, we have officers for sending. Okay, if, you, if you're worried you don't have to talk, you can just set the phone down, okay? I just need to hear if the officers find you or not. The woman's quick thinking and bravery led to the arrest of Sean Great and unveiled a series of gruesome findings. Once authorities entered the house, they found the remains of two other women who had also fallen victim to Great's heinous acts. The exposure of this predator revealed a chilling trail of abduction and murder that spanned over a decade. Great was linked to the murders of five women, marking him as a serial killer. His trial held the nation's attention, shedding light on the gravity of his atrocities. Her brave act of reaching out to 911 not only saved her life, but also brought justice for those who couldn't speak for themselves. As we conclude this chilling journey, let's remember to stay vigilant and look out for one another. Thanks for being part of this unsettling but necessary exploration.